Hello, fellow Robloxians. Welcome back to another Roblox Train video. Today, I'm playing the one and only Dry Rail Simulator. Now, this game has just opened up for free. It was originally worth like 220 Robux because it was an alpha, but now it is open to the public. That's why I'm going to be playing it. This game was made by the same person who created um, Brightline and FEC Train Simulator. They're all row scale games, but um, yeah, I don't even know how the dude, uh, Septon Northern even keeps up with all the stuff. He has that game and this game, and as you can see, these games are so detailed, like, you can, like, it must have taken so long. I know there's a lot of people who helped with it, but just directing it, that must be a lot of stress. But, yeah, let's just get started. Let's go over here and click Drive a Train. Um, let's see here. All free trains. What should we start off with? I think we should start off with the Jivo Mixed Freight, which is CSX. And as you know, if you know me, CSX is my favorite train company. Okay, so now that everything is loaded, what I was saying was the controls are a little different in this game. Um, you don't click E and Q to make it go up and down. You have to push plus and minus, which... I kind of disagree with, in my opinion, because it's hard to get used to, and it's so, the plus and minus are so out of range with, like, where your hands are, but it's, it's okay, because, whatever, I mean, some, I can't, I can't tell what's wrong with it, but as you see here, we have CSX 115, we have CSX 9512, and CSX 9512. Again, wait, what? Hold up. How is that even possible? <laughs> what? How? I don't even know. And as you can... Oh. Oofer. Okay, well, I'm going to stop my train and let him pass so you can see. I guess we can get a good look at this Amtrak train. Here, we got the Amtrak 128. A baggage. Some cool passenger cars. And then the older passenger cars. I'm not saying the new ones are cooler by any means. Oh, and another person. Okay. You can get your tri-rail train. We can get also get a view of this tri-rail train. You can see there's a TP-49 on the front, which looks very nice. Look at the detail. I, I'm amazed by the detail in these games. Like, did, if I went to... This game, and then, like, immediately after, I went to Row Joliet. And it's just crazy. Like, to see the differences. But, as you can see, we have, like, I guess coal. Or maybe that's gone, like, just for gravel or something. I don't know. There's CSX coal things holding some type of material. There's an NS one. Ooh, we can go into the camera for this. C is for camera. Here's a box car, CSX box car. And a CSX grain hopper. And two more CSX box cars. A BNSF hopper. CSX hopper. Tank cars, which look pretty nice. And then more coal or gravel or whatever it is. I've never seen a blue one of them. But yeah. Let's get a move on. Let's click plus, And then it'll start going. Now, I'm not going to... I'm going to... Oh, the horn in a second, but that's one, um, you can't hear my voice if the volume's on, so that's disappointing, but as you can see, very detailed, which blows my mind how far Roblox has come since I started playing Rose Skill games. I, after that Northeast Corridor game come out, creators started spending so much time making the trains and the maps, as you can see. Look how detailed, like, each little building is, like, each crossing. It's, it's insane, as you can see. Everything is so well made. I mean, the cars look a, a little weird, but each station is unique, each building is unique. It's, it's crazy. So this must have taken work, so much work. Uh, let's see how our train is doing. What is, why is it stopped? What's wrong? Why don't you? What, what are you doing? Move. It's trying to move. 
Maybe we'll just have to reverse a little bit. Let's see. That's a nice... Wow, that's actually pretty cool. You use that hat for Amtrak. My train's not moving. What the frick? This is a big chungus. This is a big, big chungus. Come on. What's wrong with you? Why are these cars bouncing in the air? What's wrong? What, what did what what happened? Okay, I think we're gonna have to get a new train. Okay, we're back again, and here's our train. And now we're gonna I'm gonna go as fast as I possibly can over the switch so it doesn't get me stuck, and that's probably not a good idea. You Paul, I'm gonna I'm gonna you Paul my trailer. <laughs> Why did they? I bet they spent a lot of time just editing the. No, they didn't. They didn't. I bet. Okay, let's let's listen to that horn. And horn one, and then let's do horn two. Something else really neat about sounds is that around the, like, if you're near a highway, you can hear the cars, and if you're in a town, you can, you can hear, um, like, all the, like, cars and people walking and, I guess, birds, and that's really cool that it makes it a lot more realistic, I gotta say. It makes it a ton more realistic when they do that. Then, um... The cars also make sounds, which is good. I'm, the, in the Flint and Holly subdivision, they did that, and that was a really good upgrade. But yeah, let's see here. Here's a little boxcar industry, as you can see. Some PTX boxcars. I like the small industries. I'm sorry that you... Um, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry that I haven't made a video recently. It's just that I haven't had time, like... It's my always excuse, so don't worry about it. Here's an abandoned spur. Um, but I'm going to try to make an effort to make more, maybe. I always say that, don't I? Oh, I, I'm just going to stop saying it if I'm not going to actually do that. <laughs> I don't know. I just I just don't find time in it. And editing. Editing is so painfully long. It takes hours upon hours to edit. You guys don't really notice it in the video, but I've already probably edited, at this point I've probably edited like a, an hour or two hours just for the first part of the video. So yeah, back to the game. Um, it's just awesome. Detail. Look, little columns. I mean, my road scale game has detail, but not like this. Where each building is its, like, literal thing. It takes so long to do that, and I don't know how they do it. Honestly. Oh, yeah, also, the crossing gates make noise. But, yeah. This game takes place in Florida. Like, south part of Florida. Which is pretty neat. I mean, I, I've only gone to Florida twice. And the times I went... Uh, we, I did get to ride a train the first time. There was a passenger train. I don't know where it was that we did it, but it was pretty cool. And I remember, I think I remember seeing some CSX trains. So, Florida's a pretty cool state for trains. I mean, it has pop a population that's pretty high. Oh, is that a derailment? Oh, no, is my train going to derail? Please don't. Please tell me no. I think my train's going to hit this, and it's going to just stop. Like, get on stop. Let's see. Oh, thank goodness it didn't. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, it did. It did. I was just saying, oh, thank goodness. Oh, no. Well, let, I think it's time to get another train then. I saw the Amtrak train, and I was like, oh, that's going to stop. That's going to hit it. I don't know why it's like that, if the dev can fix that or something. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way things are. But, uh, yeah, let's get a different train. Okay, so, 
We got the blue GP49, the tri-rail. That's what the game's based off of. But, um, yeah. Let's get it up and running. This has a cool horn, too. And here's this really big station that I really enjoy. It's, it's pretty cool. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, crap. That's not good. That's not good at all. Will it stop in time? No. It will have to be stopped. But I guess we'll have to reverse it then. Let's just put it up to full speed. I don't care. Who cares if there's anybody on board? That's not a good thing if they're on board. But, yeah. Okay. I like the design on the tri-rail. Like, cars. That's pretty cool. Let's see here. Crossing. And that's way too late. My train's already past the thing before the gates are even down. Ha. Now, here, I'll turn up the volume so you can listen to this horn. I don't know if there is. No, there isn't. Okay. So, yeah, let's just watch the train. It's doing pretty well. Let's see. Can we look out, like, the side? No, but there is a dash cam view, which is pretty cool. And then if I click Z, I can literally... If I go to the camera angle, I can turn around and see the terrain. Oh, no, that's glitching. Oh, oh, turn it back around. Turn it back around. I don't want to see that. Okay, good. I like this camera, though. I wish it had, like, a cab inside, you know, like in Brightline. But exit camera. Now we're... I hate uh, when it's day nighttime because you can't really see the screen. But you can kind of see it. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it kind of, like, makes the, the train show up better, kind of, like, the lights. But, yeah, on to the next train. Okay, this will be our last train. It's, uh, the Amtrak, because I haven't done it yet. But, yeah, as you can see, look at that detail on that Amtrak locomotive. It is insane. Like, on the cars, too. But, yeah. Um, let's see here. It's a pretty decent train, I'd say. I I remember riding on Amtrak. I rode on Amtrak uh, from Centralia, Centralia, Illinois to Chicago, and then from Chicago to Centralia uh, back in 2018. That's when I rode on Amtrak, and it's pretty cool, definitely. I wasn't even into, tra into trains at that time period. I'd been into trains before that. And then I was into, like, random stuff, and then I was into tr into cars, and then I got back into trains in later 2018, but I wasn't even into trains, and I really liked the trip. So, yeah, let's look at this locomotive here out of the station. I like the detail on each station. It has its own architecture and everything, and you'll get to hear the horn in a second, but... There you have it. Oh, two Amtrak trains, but... Yeah, here, let's listen to the horn. Now, there's just something about that horn that is so awesome. Like, it's so, it feels like it's, I don't know. It's just an awesome horn. That specific horn is, but, I mean, yeah. Let's see here. Exit camera, please. Okay. Jump to train. That will teleport us to the train. 
Oh, it's laggy. There's lots of Amtrak right now. And here's our Amtrak. No. Uh, I guess while we're waiting for it to come over here, uh, it'll be shout out time. So here you go. And so, yeah, um, yeah, here's the train going pretty fast. As you can see the details, you can see the light here because all these lights. And who is that? I don't know. There's a bunch of random people at the stations. Like earlier I saw like Charlie Brown or something at one of them. I don't know where that is though. Ooh, here's a CSX yard. If you can see... Here are two Devos, and then here is an SD40-3. That's a pretty cool locomotive, I gotta say. Uh, my favorite is the SD40-2, but it's still looking very nice. Here's a camera angle right there. And I think there's another SD40-3 down the track somewhere. Yeah, here. Another U-Paul add. Another SD40-3. And here's another station. And there's Charlie Brown. I, I saw him earlier. I was like, what the f*** is he doing here? Why is he watching the train? So here's Charlie Brown watching an Amtrak train. <laughs> I don't know why he's here, but he's not looking too happy. Look at him. He's not happy. <laughs> this is the thumb Imagine if this is the thumbnail of the video. <laughs> no, no, that's not going to be the thumbnail of the video. And there's also someone over here. Probably a dev or something, but... Another thing I saw, I don't know if I'll be able to see it at nighttime. There's a lake coming up, and in the lake, there's a train locomotive... And there's like a dev on top of the train locomotive. It might be like right here. I can't tell because it's so dark out. But it was like funny seeing that. Ooh, this is a cool crossing right here. An intersection kind of crossing. Kind of. But yeah, I think that'll be it. Um, Like the video if you liked it. I hope you liked it. I'm glad this game is out and I like it the game especially how much detail there is and how realistic it is uh comment if you have a comment maybe like what games to play or something um i don't know do something else subscribe if you want more videos that'd be cool if i reach like 2,000 subscribers i'm probably gonna make more videos i don't know <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do for 2,000 subscribers but yeah uh Thanks for watching. I'll see you Robloxians later. Goodbye.